sasa nitampatia vice chairman wa Masid Musa vile vile ni katika trustee wa Musa Education and Community Welfare eh, bwana Shabi na vile vile nitampatia dakika tano sio zaidi ya hapo Asalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi Kwanza tutatoa shukrani zetu kwa watoto wetu hawa kutikia mwito na mabanati wetu hawa kuja kuhudhuria masomo haya. Ya pili natoa shukurani kwa timu yangu hii ikiongozwa na Munir na Ustad Kea na kuleta walimu ili kuwasaidia watoto wetu. Bigi yetu yule aliyoko pale Abu Shrem huyu ukimjua vizuri lengo lake na madhumuni yake na timu yake kuhusu vijana kwa sababu kijana ndio msingi wa nyumba na maisha natoa shukrani zangu kwa madam chief walioko hapa imamu yetu walimu wote na wazazi mlioko hapa vijana vijana someni vijana ikiwa wewe bado unaamshwa na mama yako unaambiwa amka fanya homework wewe ni mtu bure kabisa na wewe msichana shikilia elimu utaishimika katika jamii leo wanaume ndio kina sisi hapa shika elimu utaishimika utaishi katika jamii na adabu yako itaonekana na heshima ile utakapatikana. Leo hii Tanzania inaongozwa na mama anaongoza watu milioni sitini Na mama na heshima yake amefunga hijabu na adabu yake na kila mmoja anampigia saluti. Na wewe soma linda heshima yako utaishimika katika jamii. Na wewe kijana amka asubuhi jiwe mola wako utakuwa mwanamume mwanamume si anayekasuruale mwarisho mwanamume si anayekasuruale kitambara matakoni hapa mwanamume dume ni yule anayesoma anakuwa dume anafanya kazi anaangalia wazazi wake anaoa analeta watoto kila mmoja anaheshimika barabarani nani yule fulani wewe ndio dume lakini utamka asubuhi unyoe kichwa kama kuku uvae suruale namna hii bure kabisa wewe na dunia ya sasa ilivyo vijana watoto nyinyi wewe ni kuamka asubuhi kutafuta elimu iko wapi wewe ukiwa na homework amka asubuhi fanya kazi yako usilale usiku fanya homework kuwa katika mbele katika mstari wa mbele kuhakisha kwamba mimi itafika pale lakini kiwa na ngoja mama yako baba yako akwamshe akwambie fanya homework wewe una maana katika jamii kina mama tunawaomba hawa ni watoto wetu tuombe usiku na mchana dua ya watu watatu haipotei Mungu ametoa ahadi tume atuambia sisi dua ya watu watatu Mungu asema haina pazia moja yao ni ipi ni mzazi kumombea mtoto wake dua ya msafir na dua ya mtu aliyedhulumiwa wewe mamangu jiulize katika maisha yako lini na babangu hawa walioko hapa na mimi kama mwenyeshi habi hapa tuliamka usiku tukawaombea watoto wetu kimaisha niamke saa nane ya usiku nipige magoti kwa Mwenyezi Mungu nisujudu niinue mkondo aliyoko mbinguni ya Allah muongoze mtoto wangu utakuta hakuna lakini ngoja Fatma na Khadija anaambiwa ukuja poswa na Shabi ndio pale atamka usiku wa manane ataswala tisadi sikhara kwa sababu ndoa itakuwa mzuri ama mbaya lakini baada ya hapo hakuna tena kuamka usiku kumuombea mtoto wako na banati wako sisi tumeanzisha hii maneno hii msikitu wa Musa haina wakfu wala hatuna pesa 
hatuna shilingi hii msikiti wa Musa inaendeshwa na maratibu wa msikiti huu wanaotoa shilingi 100 mbili na wallahi tunawaahidi wazazi wangu mloko hapa mwakani kwa uwezo wake Mwenyezi Mungu ikiwa tuko hai form 4 watakuwa pande hii side 8 watakuwa pande hii tutakuwa nao na mapema tutatafuta pesa kwenda kuomba kwa nje lakini watoto wetu waweze kusoma kwa hivyo ndugu zanguni leo ni siku ya dua leo hakuna maneno mengi lakini nawaambia vijana someni kijana usingojewe kuambiwa amka wewe mwenyewe soma ndio utaishimika katika jamii wasiokuwa sisi walitembea shule bila viatu ndio leo wamekuwa mwabwana katika hii nchi nani katika nyumba anatembea bila viatu hapa wasiokuwa sisi wamekuwa mwabwana wanamka asubuhi hata uji hawajakunywa nyinyi na hawa baadhi viazi vakarai maamri mama yenu ashawaekea shukuruni kwa Mwenyezi Mungu nyinyi amujui wazazi wenu wanatoa hizi pesa wapi ujui pengine ni wezi pengine wananyonga watu usiku pengine wana bala zote lakini lengo lao nini kukusomesha wewe na wewe wasichana amkeni shika dini wewe hutopendwa na msichana mwenzako atakapokuona umefunga hijab unaenda madrasa unaenda kutafuta elimu wasichana wale wengine hawatakupenda watakuona achana naye yule Mariam watu wa dini dini wale na huyu kijana utakapokuwa unaenda msikitini unakuwa natafuta elimu achana naye mtoto wa mama yule lakini kesho ndio utajua faida mtoto wa mama ni nini kesho hakuna kazi Kenya hii bila degree miaka inayokuja huna degree wewe ni mtu bure huna maana kwa hivyo sasa ni kusoma na nawaomba ukianguka katika mtihani huu usivunjike moyo sema insha Allah huko mbele ninapokwenda nitafaulu ndio tafaulu kweli na wewe msichana vile vile elimu ni kitu muhimu hakuna mahali imesema umaskini ni laana umaskini ni aibu la umaskini utajiri yatoka kwa Allah yule aliyempa tajiri ndio alikupa wewe maskini kwa hivyo usijaribu kumwona mzazi wako ikiwa hakukupa ukafikiria bas mimi bana si kama wengine la wamesoma watoto ambao wazazi wao ni maskini na heshima na adabu na leo wamekuwa nani wamekuwa watu kama watu kwa hivyo nawatakia kila laheri na Mungu awaongoze na insha Allah siku hiyo ikifika kesho kutwa roho zenu Mwenyezi Mungu aziwaze ziwe kama jabali msitingisike muweze kuifanya mitiani bila uoga na waomba wanangu siku hiyo vile vile amkeni alfajiri muswali enweni mikono juu mkifika nyumbu kule msikuli tawadha ukifika kwenye kartasi kabla hujafungua kartasi enua mkono uliokuwa juu ya Allah mimi ni mja wako na mimi leo sina ujuzi ujuzi ni wako wewe na kuomba ujuzi wako wote leo nilete mshana na mimi niweze kufaulu hapa leo ndio Mungu atawasaidia vijana amkeni vijana kuweni na heshima kuweni na adabu utafaulu na wewe dadangu binti yangu kuwa na adabu ilinda heshima yako utafaulu katika masomo yako umaskini si aibu kwa haya machache na watakia kila laheri na Mungu atuongoze na walinde watoto wetu na wazazi wetu Mwenyezi Mungu awapatie tena nguvu waweze watoto wetu kusoma na waweze kufaulu ili kesho tuone inshallah baada ya matokeo tarehe ngapi 12 April tarehe 12 au 13 matokeo yatatangazwa tutakuona Masjid Musa inshallah tumetoa 400 mingi hapa ndani ma 300 tutoe hapa kwa uwezo wake Mwenyezi Mungu kwa haya machache asalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bwana Vice Chairman yao hayakuwa machache bwana. Wasema kwa machache lakini hayakuwa machache. Yamekuwa mingi lakini bila shaka yalikuwa ni yenye faida na vijana msiogope ile sauti aliyoitumia kwa sababu yeye ni Vice Chairman 
lazima atumie turufu yake na atumie sauti yake ya vice chairman lakini kwa hakika hakuna mwenye imani kama huyu lao kama angesema hataki tushe ni hapa pasingefanyika tushe ni hapo lakini mbali na hivyo kwamba wakati mwingine chini kuna watu wanasoma Qur'ani kuna watu wanaswali na watoto wetu ni hawa mara mwingine ingia na kule atokea na huku lakini wazazi wakawa wako na subra kwa hivyo bila kupoteza wakati madam Aisha nafikiri tutatamani pia tusikie nawe wasia wako kwa vijana wetu hawa kwa ajili ya mitiani yao na mustakbali wao wa kesho salamu aleikum kwa majina ni madam Aisha ni assistant chief kwa majengo Nimefurahi sana kuona kama kuna kitu kama hichi chaendelea msikitini. Ilikuwa nasikia kuna tushen tushen lakini sikujua kama kuna vigogo kama hawa wako behind your tushen. Na nafurahi sana kwanza nipongezi kwa wale walio organize kitu kama hichi ni nadra sana. Na washukuru sana wenye walikuja na hii idea na muendelee. Pili ni kwa wazazi wenzangu. Tumeona kama kamiti imeamua kuja na kitu kama hichi. Sisi kama wazazi ni vile ukibebwa na wewe usiathilie miguu. Najua hali ni ngumu kusomesha kumekuwa kugumu mtoto kufika form 4 kufika 8 paka mzazi ujikaze. Lakini naambia hakuna kitu kizuri kama kusomesha mtoto na kufaulu. Wacha leo uombe, wacha leo uite wewe una buibui moja lakini mtoto wako iko university. Mwana siasa atakayekuja kipindi cha siasa kinakuja. Muulizo umetufanyia nini katika masomo? Ama utatufanyia nini? Ama tuna watoto wangapi sisi tutakupa? Lakini tusianze mambo mengine watatudanganya. Walai hakuna hazina kubwa kama mtoto amesoma. Leo takuwa maskini lakini mtoto anaweza kubadilisha ile historia ya family ikiwa ana karatasi. Nashukuru sana watoto pia wamejitokeza kuja. Watoto aswa watoto wa kike. Mmeona leo tumefunga hijab kwa rais wetu rais wa Tanzania. Yamaanisha you still can have your hijab na uwe unaheshimika na ukatawala. Kwa hivyo hata kama itafika ni mambo ya kuolewa tutaolewa lakini tuna nini? Tuna karatasi zetu. Hata kama kutatokea talaka una karatasi una plan B. Lakini leo huku soma, leo ndo haikufaulu, utashika nani. Sisi tuko kwenye hizi ndoa mama zako atakuelezea. Lakini ukiwa na karatasi hata mwanamume anafikiria mara mbili, akuwate ama sikuwate. Lakini leo huna karatasi. Adabu huna. Jal, jal baba ma mtandie ushauvua. Utakuwa huna moja. Watoto wetu na mimi niko hapa jirani. Anything yenye kusaidia hawa watoto nitakuwa mstari wa mbele. Ubrandiwe usibrandiwe lakini hawa ndo uso wa kesho. Kesho ikiwa mimi sikusimama na nyinyi, nikitoka katika uchifu nikija kuishi na nyinyi, utaniuliza ulifanya nini wakati ulipewa ile jukumu. Kwa hivyo na nyinyi tu, tuone ni haya sisi. Muangalie hizi juhudi tumefanya. Mpaka tumeka kikao kama hichi, msitushushe uso chochote chawezekana nyinyi ni watoto mwasoma ndani ya msikiti nyumba ya Mwenyezi Mungu mtafel vipi nyinyi na mkishapita kumbukeni hizi uso zilizokaa hapa zikaja na hii idea nyinyi kuwatushe mkishafika maulaya kumbukeni chanzo chenu ni wapi ni hapa masjid Musa liwe lizuri iwe ni msikiti mzuri mbaya lakini wewe na mimi ndio tutakubali ubaya ama tutabadilisha ubaya kwa uzuri kwa hivyo mimi naamini hawa wote watapita. Na inshallah wakipita wafanye nini? Wakumbuke nyumbani. Muje na mchango wenu katika hii community. Shukran sana na mimi naombea Mungu. Shukran sana. Huyo alikuwa Madam Aisha ni chifu mdogo huyo. Kwa hivyo ninawezekana pia kupata machifu hapa hapa. Wakaja wakasikiza kesi zetu. Maana kitu kwa jambo la aibu, sikia kesho na kushokuta yuenda kwa chifu apelekwa na kesi ya mkewe chifu Maisara pale. <laughs> eh, itakuwa jambo lakini kwangu itakuwa ni fakhri vile vile. Sawa? Kwa hivyo bila kupoteza wakati. Itabidi sasa ni mpatie katika walimu nitampatia tu bwana Fredi eh, mwalimu wa Kiingereza atuambie mawili matatu wako wingi wako wingi lakini madamu yeye ni siku yake na utatusamea mwalimu leo siku yako tumemenyamenya kidogo 
lakini ni siku ya mwisho kwa wewe kwa na wanafunzi wetu na hii siku ya leo ni muhimu kwa hivyo tukomba radhi tu kwa hilo bwana Fred thank you so much uh, my very good friend Ustad Kea this is my colleague at my place of work in uh, Memon Academy as uh, he has said my name is Fred Oyera I'm a teacher of English at Memon Academy so when he approached me to come and assist uh, teaching right here in this uh, mosque I did not think twice I said give me the challenge I am a teacher by profession let me repeat that I've been in teaching for the last 15 years being a teacher is a huge task we call it a noble profession it is a calling actually not everybody can be a teacher not everybody can be a teacher it's a calling and a teacher is like a second parent a second parent to all these children because the moment you give me your child to guide him or to guide her it's like you have given me the destiny of that child I have got the destiny of these children in my hand so whatever I'm going to do is going to affect their future lives so the moment I was given this opportunity I told myself let me not misguide anybody's child in this world because I also have children I am sure if I do something bad to these children my child will also get somebody who will misguide her I have been teaching them for the last I think one month they have really enjoyed the lessons we have given them the right materials and I believe by the grace of God these children are going to do well and I'll want to know from my friend Ustad what each one of them is going to score because whenever a child passes it is the pride of the teacher it means whatever you taught was rightly understood I want to thank the leadership of this mosque led by Mr. Munir. This idea is one of the best. Just like Ustad Kea said it, not every parent is blessed. Not every parent is blessed. There are those ones who are struggling at least to have a meal on the table. There are those ones who are privileged. They can afford tuition privately. So when you come up with this idea, it was a silver bullet. It was one of the best approaches you can assist those ones who can't afford tuition teachers. And I'm sure God is watching you. This move that you took, you're going to be blessed. Ustad Kea, together with the leadership, you are going to be blessed tremendously. Keep it up. Continue. I'm sure you'll get challenges along the way, but don't give up. Because these children, whatever they're receiving here, they'll always remember you. They'll always remember the leadership of this mosque. They'll always remember the teachers who handle them. And uh, let me tell you, one, let me give you a piece of advice, the students. Later, when you're now a grown-up, you are blessed with a job, you are privileged. Always make sure the parents who made it possible for you to get teachers, make sure you also make Children during that time, make sure they also get the same special attention. If there is any contribution, please chip in. Because there is a parent who made it possible for you. When you grow up, make it possible for another child. Are we together? And God will bless you so much. Thank you parents for coming. You releasing your daughter or your son to come here to be taught by somebody you don't even know. That means you really trust the teacher whom you don't know. You really trust the leadership of this mosque. And I want to thank you so much. Continue with that spirit. And I'm sure God will enable us achieve success. With those few remarks, thank you so much. And do have a great evening. Santa sana, Bwana Fred. Lakini this is Majengo, Bwana Fred. Kiswahili is dominating. Na kika hapa wengi wetu. kuna baadhi ya maneno. Ya metupita. Na bwana Fred, madamu ni mwalimu wa Kiingereza 
hataki kujua mwaelewa wala hamuelewi yeye yachafua tu kiingereza na hapo hapo pia anajiadvertise hapo maana wakati mwingine ukiwa atakwenda kupigana na mtu kabla hajapigana na wewe yale mazoezi ya viungo anayoyafanya wewe mwenyewe utagairu vashati lako huyo utoke kwa hivyo sasa hii ni advertisement ambao bwana Freddy ameionyesha na anayozungumza ni kweli alipokuja mwalimu wa social studies siku ya pili tu watoto wanakuja na vigelegele hapa wasema yale tulofundishwa jana leo yankuja katika mtihani kweli urongo nyenye Tuna siku hiyo hiyo wamefunzwa siku ya pili tayari yamekuja na kwa hakika hawa walimu nilipowafuata hakuna aliyeniuliza mara mbili mbili maswali mawili aliniuliza tu watakanije lini kwa sababu siku yangu ni hii na hii na hii na bwana Fredi si katika yani dini yake na yetu ni tofauti sisi ni waislamu yeye ni mkristo bwana Ndoro yeye ni mkristo Madam Emily yeye ni Mkristo lakini leo wamekuja katika msikiti kwa ajili ya kusaidia hawa watoto wetu. Kwa hivyo ile maneno ya kusema ah sisi waislamu wata kwa sababu huyu rafiki yangu ama tukane ni Mkristo na hii tulitangaza kwamba tushen si watoto wa Kiislamu peke yake. Wote wa Kiislamu na wa Kikristo. Kwa hivyo bwana Fredi na timu yako yote ya Memon kwa jumla bwana Salim na bwana Mr. Shaban tuatoa shukurani zetu sana Mr. Salim ningempa nafasi azungumze lakini kwa sababu ya wakati bwana Salim Mr. Salim naomba nipatie udhuru vile vile madam Hadija hapa mama Hadija pia amekuja mashallah na yuko karibu sana na bwana Munir vile vile na madam chief wako karibu sana bila kumsahau eh, senior chief ambaye ni mgonjwa lakini ni imani angekuwa yuko sawa tungekuwa naye na vile vile wazazi wetu ambao wamekuja hapa na ndugu yangu Ustadi Ibrahim amesikia tu hapa katika kipaza sauti baada ya kusikia katika kipaza sauti ikabidi aniulize muko chini muko juu amekuja kushirikiana na sisi kwa hivyo hivi sasa kabla hatujapeleka kipaza sauti kwa Abu Shurem ambaye atatueleza kidogo kiufupi eh, AK with youth inafanya nini tutataka wazazi mzazi mmoja dakika mbili wa kiume na mzazi mmoja wa kike kisha mtoto mmoja na wazungumze tu yani maoni yao ama faida ambao wameiona katika tusheni hii tujue nani kwa tayari ibn abbas tafadhali huyu ni ndugu yangu ni rafiki yangu tulikuwa loti moja alidina na ni mfano mmoja mzuri sana kwa sababu katika loti yetu kuna wale wako madaktari kuna wale wako maengineer kuna watu tofauti tofauti kuna wale wako walimu kama sisi wengine kwa hivyo ndugu yangu Abbas ni ndugu yangu wa karibu sana na mtoto wake anakuja kutoka chuda kila siku na akitoka hapa mtoto wake anamsubiri yeye anamfuata akienda naye kwa hivyo ni jambo la kutia moyo sana ndugu yangu jambo moja kia nataka kusema hapa tumewazungumzia watoto mashallah lakini sijasikia tukiwaambia watoto yule atakaye kuja namba 1 atapata nini at least watie hima na wao wawe watafanya competition baina ya wao kila mtu atakaye kuwa namba 1 upande wa wanaume wa namba 1 upande wa kike at least the top 3 students tutawafanya nini at least watie hima 